Hello, welcome to another video of course snippet and in this video we are going to answer a famous question that is add service annotation really different from add component annotation inside Spring Boot. What exactly is the difference between them? Are they really different in the first place? If in case they are same then why do Spring even provide both of them? Well by the end of this video you will exactly know when to use which so let's get started without wasting any time this is going to be another fun video so sit back relax and enjoy the show. Alright, so let's quickly look into the agenda of this particular video. So service versus component annotation. So here is what we are going to look into. So first we will see what exactly is component annotation and what it will do. After that we will see what is service. After that we will actually look into are they same or are they really different. After that we will have a quick glance on layered architecture and we will see when to use which. So this is going to be a quick video to clear the confusion between these two. So let's get started. So let's get started with the first one that what exactly is the component. So now if I go inside IntelliJ, so this is basically a Spring Boot application. If you have been watching my Spring Boot course, then you will be familiar with this particular application. This is basically weather service and we have made use of it inside Spring Security when we were looking into JWT. So you will see that there are a lot of applications over here. This is basically the main application which is annotated with Spring Boot application annotation. So what do we know about component, right? So component is nothing but a annotation and what happens when you annotate a class with component for example let's say I will go ahead and annotate this particular class so this is basically a plain java class isn't it now what I will do I'll just go ahead and annotate this guy with component annotation now what will happen whenever your application comes up and it scan for beans inside your application so let's say you are running this particular application now if I go inside this particular Spring Boot application annotation what you will see you will see that there is this component scan annotation now you might be familiar with this guy that this guy will scan your application and look for beans inside your application what it will do it will just go through each and every class it will arrive to this class it will see that okay dude there is this particular component annotation on top of this particular class that means i need to create a bean that means spring needs to manage this particular class as a bean inside springs application context that means this particular JWT util will be available inside Spring's application context. That means this particular class will be converted as a bean. That means this particular component annotation is telling Spring that dude convert this particular class as a bean inside my Spring application. Right. So that is basically a simple job of this particular component annotation. If I go inside it, you will see that we don't really have much over here. It's a simple stuff that we have over here, right? The moment I annotate any class, with component annotation, it will tell Spring that manage this class as a bean inside my Spring Boot application. Simple stuff, right? So that is basically a simple job of your component annotation to convert or to register this particular class as a bean inside your Spring application context. And whenever your Spring will scan for components, this particular annotation will be participating inside your component scanning. That is basically your component annotation, right? Simple stuff, right? Simple stuff, nothing complex. Now let's move on to service. Now we will see what exactly is service over here, right? So let me just go over here. Now let me go to services over here and let me open a sample service over here saying let's say weather service. Then you will see we have get weather, we have update weather, we have delete weather. So we have all the operations on weather, right? Now you will see that this particular class is annotated by using service annotation. And this particular weather service will have what? This particular weather service have business logic over here. You will see that it is all a business logic. It comes inside your business layer of your application. Now, if I go inside this particular service annotation, you will see that there is this component annotation already added over here. That means a service is nothing but a component over here and it is just an alias for your component class. Right. It is just an alias for your annotation which is a component annotation basically and this is basically your component annotation and your service is just an alias for that particular component annotation. That means your service is ultimately a component itself. That means all the things that this particular component annotation is providing you, service annotation will provide same stuff. It will also tell Spring to manage this class as a bean. That means if I go ahead and apply this particular service annotation on top of this weather service, then again similar stuff will happen which happened 
to this particular JW to util which had this component annotation. That means whenever component scanning will happen, this particular class will be registered as a Spring Bean inside Spring's application context. Simple stuff, right? So same stuff is basically happening as it is happening for your component class because your service is nothing but a component. That means your service is just a alias. It is a alias for your component annotation. You can go ahead and see it over here, right? It's a, just an alias for your component annotation because it's internally a component itself. But what exactly is the difference? The only logical difference over here is that service is applied on a classes which are playing with business, which have your core business logic inside it. So whether service will play around a business logic, right? So there is a lot of business logic over here related to weather in this case. But if I go inside JWT util, what is JWT util? JWT util plays with security related stuff. Do not really play with the business of this particular application, right? Now, this is kind of a utility class, right? This is a utility class. This is not coming in picture when it comes to business of your application. So that is why we are marking it as a component annotation because component is basically a very low level annotation, very core level annotation, and it is suitable for such use cases when it comes to your utilities. But when it comes to something called as business logic, your service annotation comes into picture because this particular class is handling a service annotation. So your service annotation should be applied on a business logic layer or a class which is handling your business logic. Although this guy is alias for component or still internally a component, it adds a semantic meaning to your class that this particular class is handling a business of this particular application. There is some business associated, some business logic is being executed in this particular class. Now there can be a thousand classes or beans inside your Spring Boot application and let's say some other new developer guy joins and this particular service annotation will tell that guy that this particular service or this particular class or this particular bean handles business logic inside this particular class, right? So that is basically the indication. So that is basically for readability of your application that this particular class handles service, right? So that is how it works. So now the question arises, are they really same? Now until now we have seen that service is just a alias for component. So yes, when you mark a class as a component or a bean, they will both create beans itself, nothing else, right? At the end, both of them will create a bean. And at the runtime, when we run our application, both will work same, right? At the runtime, both will work same. So there will not be any difference over here. And yes, at the end, Spring will treat them similarly. There is basically a no difference. Although technically there is no difference, but when it comes to intent, when it comes to the readability of your application, your service annotation should be worked on a service layer which handles business logic of your application and everything else should go in a component section like utility classes. Now there is this famous layered architecture, right? So if I go back over here, then you might be aware of this layered architecture. So when it comes to application, your application will have something front facing, let's say your REST APIs or your presentation layer will be there. So first layer is basically your presentation layer which your clients will actually have access to. For example, you will be exposing a REST APIs inside your backend application, right? So in that case, your presentation layer will be of REST. After that, you will have a business logic over here. Next layer will be your business logic where after someone invokes your REST API, what you need to do, that is something you will write inside your business layer. After that, once your business layer do its job, once your business logic gets execute, after that third layer comes into picture, which is a persistence layer, which will actually go ahead and play around with your database, right? Now the simple rule is whenever you are writing classes inside this particular guy, make use of a controller because this is basically a controller of your application, right? Whenever you are writing a classes inside your business logic, classes which are handling business logic, go ahead and make use of service annotation. And at the end, when it comes to persistence layer, whenever you are writing a class in persistence layer, which is talking to a database, you make use of which annotation? A repository annotation over here, a repository annotation. And now after all this, if there is a class, another class, which is not falling in any of this particular category, for example, let's say your utility class, right? 
Now it is not going inside REST. It is not going inside your business logic because utility class will not handle business logic over here. For example, our JWT guy over here, JWT util. Is this a business logic? No, it is not because it's not handling anything related to your weather, right? It is not handling anything related to your weather service. It is not handling anything related to your database. So what exactly is the position of this guy? We don't know, right? It is not falling in any of the layer inside this particular layered architecture. That is when a core level annotation can be given, which is basically your component. So that is how it works. So whenever you are out of any of these annotations, then you can use component annotation. So repository is again. So if I go inside any of the repository, let me open any repository. Repository again will have a component annotation. So at the end repository also is a component and it is alias for your component itself. Again, the similar question will arrive repository versus component and the answer is basically the same. They are basically same and they are, they can be separated by using intent, right? So business logic, use service persistence, use repository and any other stuff, use component and your controller as well. So if I go inside any of the controller over here, let's say user controller, it has this particular rest controller annotation. If I go inside it, you will see that there is this controller. So rest controller is controller plus response body. If I go inside the controller over here, it is again a component. So at the end, everybody is basically a component. It is just about segregating and making them more readable and making the intent of that particular class clear, right? And if any of the class is not falling in any of this particular layer, then go ahead and mark your class as component. So ideally you should not have all the classes inside your application marked as at the red component, right? That is basically a wrong practice. It's all about the right practice over here. So when to use which we have just seen according to your class, you should choose the annotation. So if you have business logic inside your class, use service. Otherwise, if you don't have, otherwise, if your class is not falling in any of these layer, then go ahead and make use of component annotation, simple stuff basically. So now if someone is asking you, what is the difference between service component, repository, controller, right? You know what to answer, right? They all are doing the same job but the intent of each annotation is different according to this particular layered architecture and depending on in which layer your class is falling in, in which layer your class is falling in, you should use the respective annotation and that is basically the best practice making use of these annotations inside your Spring Boot application. So that is something you should answer. So we have looked into all this, we have seen all these points over here and that is basically a quick thing and that is basically the quick content that I wanted to cover to clear the confusion between all these annotations because at the end they will do the same job and it answers the famous question that why Spring has really added them if they do the same job. A lot of people will ask this inside the interview and I've seen many people get confused and they will not be able to answer it clearly and they will not be able to show the clear intent why Spring has added these particular annotations. So that's basically it for this particular video. If you like the video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to Code Snippet. Share this particular video with your friends so that they are also aware about these differences and the similarities between these annotations. That's it for this video. See you in the next video.